Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can run Python in command prompt. So basically, something like this. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now to run Python in command prompt, let's first download Python. For that, open the browser and search for Python download. So this is the official site, click on it and you can download Python's latest version or you can download it from here too. Let me quickly download it. So it is downloaded. Let me install it. Install now. So the installation is complete. Close this. After installing Python, let me first try it if it works with the CMD or not. So let's check if the command prompt displays the Python version or not. For that, let me type Python double dash version. So Python was not found. This basically means we need to add the path to the environment variables. For that, on the start menu, type Python Right click on it and go to open file location. Again, right click on it and go to the file location. So basically, this is the path we need to add. Let me copy this. Now on the start menu, search for environment variables. This is the one, click on it. Click on environment variables and here on system variables, click on path and click on edit. And now we need to add that path here. So basically this path, let me copy it again. Click on new and paste it here. Something like this. It's done. OK. OK. And OK. Now again open the CMD and type python double dash version. So the python version is recognized. Now let's see if pip works or not. Type pip double dash version. So the pip is still not recognized. This means we need to add another path to the environment variables. Close this. Here, go to scripts where it has PIP. Copy this and again open the environment variables. On environment variables and on the path, click on edit and click new and add the scripts path. And OK. OK and OK. Now again open the CMD. Now let's check PIP double dash version. So now it is recognized with the Python version. Now you can simply run the command like PIP install and install the required applications. We hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.